Hi everyone and welcome back to the Hair Loss Show. In today's episode we're going to talk about Latanoprost, so stick around. Welcome to the Hair Loss Show. Dr. Russell Knudsen and Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash discuss issues relating to hair loss and the medical and surgical treatment of hair loss in both men and women. Hey everyone, Dr. Vikram J. Aprakash, and thanks again for watching The Hair Loss Show. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And today's episode, we're going to talk about Latanoprost. And here in Australia, recently there's been a lot of uh, media coverage on Latanoprost uh, and uh, its potential uses in the field of hair loss. And so I thought I'd just uh, take a few minutes to unpack what's available and what it is. So basically, Latanoprost is a medication that's been around for quite a while. Um, there's a, also another t a form of that medication called Bimatoprost as well. And basically, these uh, drops, or uh, this medication was used by ophthalmologists. And it's a, a glaucoma medication where it helps, if you apply the drops into the eyes, uh, helps reduce the pre pressure inside the um, inside the eye but interestingly enough what people noticed were that uh, as they were applying these drops over time their eyelashes were becoming uh, a lot stronger and longer and to the point it was causing problems in in some of them as as well because if they were wearing glasses the the eyelashes were actually knocking against the the glass so there was uh, they, that's how they found out that hang on a second this uh, this compound, this medication, can also uh, have an effect on the hair cycle and hair growth uh, from that perspective. And so people have been using it uh, as well. If they want to increase length of uh, eyelashes, it helps stimulate uh, the growth and, uh, and, and certainly increase the growth cycle, the growth phase of the eyelash hair. And also people have been applying it onto eyebrows as well to do the same. And it's been used very safely. Like I said, it does uh, drop the pressure in the, um, in the eye. So you want to be careful if you're using it from that perspective and make sure you uh, get uh, advice from your, your doctor. But what's happening now is that people are going, right, okay, well, if it's useful in that scenario, can it be used topically to treat hair loss like in androgenic alopecia? And the, the key there is that, that they need to test this and they need to do studies to verify this. The issue that we're having is that the skin on the scalp is very different from the skin on the eyelid. Um, the skin on the eyelid is very thin, the absorption's uh, a lot more effective. However, in, on the scalp, the skin is a lot more hardy, a lot thicker. And so therefore, studies are being done right now to see if the topical application of uh, this prostaglandin analog, latanoprost, uh, does help stimulate hair. I think the way that it works, it's not going to change um, the mechanism of why people are losing hair, but it may help uh, as another adjunct to help stimulate uh, hair growth. Right now, it's still very expensive, but it's going through its uh, studies and trials, uh, certainly here in Australia as well. Uh, so stay tuned, and hopefully we'll have some more data to, to share with you uh, as, as time progresses. All right, so I hope that uh, gives you some information on Latanoprost. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode. Mm -hmm.